Knights who moved to rural Arkansas to grow a summer garden, discovering the satisfaction of digging in the dirt, living off the land, selling produce at local farmers markets, producing zero waste, and making a hell of a lot of good friends along the way. Come on up, Haley, and tell us what you got. You get it, bird! participated in and I'm currently editing the Garden Summer. Um, so last summer I took four Charleston Suburbanites to a family property in the foothills of the Arkansas Ozarks. Um, and it's been in my family for 150 years. It's um, not really a ranch so much, just a couple novelty cows, a few chickens, um, and lots of pretty meadows. So Seth Amos, Emily Cleary, um, Marie Barker and I lived in Arkansas for a summer, grew a garden, chemical free, um, zero waste, attempted zero waste. Uh, we sold produce at a local farmer's market. Um, we ate strictly within a 100 mile radius. Um, well, and we drank a lot of bourbon. <laughs> um, so it was everything you would expect it to be, right? We, we rode in the back of trucks, we fished, we sat on the porch, we... Um, you know, it was hot, we played frisbee in the rain, all of that. Um, but at its core, the garden summer was an experiment. Could we grow a garden? Uh, could we sustain ourselves with the money we made from that garden um, at the farmer's market? And what happens when you put five strangers in a, in a house together and ask them to do something? Um, to be accountable to one another, to be accountable to their community. At the end of the day, we're five equal stakeholders, right? So. How do you make sense of chores and money and who sits behind the table at the farmer's market, etc. So we had some failures, but most of all we had wild success. We did indeed create a space for ourselves in the local community. Um, the Garden Summer, the film, is meant to be a small-scale answer to a large-scale problem. We've all seen Food Inc., right? You watch it and, oh, you get all fired up and it's, it's intense and, you know, jaw-droppingly informative. But it's also sort of um, overwhelming. When I watched it for the first time, it stopped me in my tracks. What do you do, you know? You bring it down to a human scale, and that's the point. Like, we wanted to go out there and show everybody that you can make friends with the people that supply your food. You can grow a garden as a complete novice. You can change your consumption habits and be a conscious consumer. Um, and we all claim convenience, right? It's not convenient to um, wait till Saturday to shop at the farmer's market. But we found out it's really not that hard. We found out we could find local duck in central Arkansas and that we could feed five people on $150 a week, which is insane. Um, but most of all, it was satisfying. We felt good Woo! and pure and happy and good, right? <laughs> um, so we show up to the farmer's market with our meager but respectable um, produce. And we take the money we made and immediately infuse it back into the local economy by buying our groceries. Um, you know, and we made a lot of friends along the way. Uh, for example, Ray Daly, our cheese man. Um, he was next to us at the farmer's market stall, but he was also on our neighbor up the street. Um, we would spend a given weekday hanging out with Ray Daly on his farm, drinking homemade muscadine wine in his kitchen, or riding around in the back of a truck looking at the cattle. Um, and every time we would leave his house, we would leave flush with tomatoes and eggs and cheese and what have you, wine. <laughs> um, and that's the point. That's how you build, you know, a strong community. That's how you build social capital. Um, the economist Robert Putnam said that you kind of can't have monetary capital without social capital. The interpersonal bonds that we all have with each other, that's... That's what makes a community economically successful, really. So Ray Daly buys our cucumbers, we buy Ray Daly's cheese, and no one's buying blueberries from Peru. <laughs> um, Charleston is successful because Charleston is tight. We all know each other, you know? And if I don't know you, then I can guarantee we're only one degree of separation away. Um, and we support each other. Look at us tonight, you know? and we do a little grocery shopping and we get a crate, right? Um, so that's the point. And the more of that we have, the better. Um, so 